Hi, I'm Dr. Nidhi Ravel, pediatric gastroenterologist and hepatologist at Max Hospital in Gurgaon. Like we have all heard the saying, when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. So today we are going to talk about constipation in children. As a pediatric gastroenterologist and a specialist, we see a lot of children who come to us with constipation. The most common symptom of constipation is abdominal pain, stomach aches, repeated stomach aches in your children. A lot of children will refuse eating. They will not eat a lot of the normal size portion for their meals. This results in poor growth growth, poor weight gain and slowness of their height velocity. A lot of children will also feel what we call nausea. You know, they will feel that feeling that they might throw up. Some of them might actually end up having frequent episodes of vomiting. So if your child is having nausea, vomiting or not eating enough portions or suddenly he has started reducing his, you know, amount of meal to 50%, uh, Check your um, you know, diet with the child and check your child's poop and see if the child is constipated. So constipation is usually definitely seen more common in children who eat relatively larger amount of processed foods as compared to the dietary fiber that is there in their diet definitely seen more commonly in children who have more sedentary lifestyle, uh, lack of physical activity and more than one, one and a half hours of screen time a day. So in order to prevent constipation in your child, there are very simple things that you can do. The, there are three most important things that one can follow. One is adequate fiber in the diet. Second is the right posture to sit on the pot. And third is increase in physical activity. So coming to the diet, make sure your child is getting at least uh, two servings of green vegetables, two servings of fruits and two servings of raw salads every day. So we call it a rule of two. The sitting posture while the child is trying to poop is also very, very important. So the best way to poop is squatting. However, since the access to squatting kind of toilets are is not very easy these days. What you can do to help your child is put a stool, put a foot stool or a foot rest where your child can support his legs while the child is pooping. This helps empty his intestines more completely and reduces the chances of having constipation in future. Make sure your child is also taking at least one to two liters of water every single day, as much as it is possible. Definitely much more in amount uh, during the summer months and also make sure that there is at least 30 to 60 minutes of active physical um, you know movement of the child's body almost every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates.